Guys, good morning. We are here in the centre of Barcelona. We've come into the city centre this morning. We've been invited down to check out the Steinway Lindorf showroom here with the Barcelona distributor. The latest product offerings, there's some really, really cool stuff we've got to check out today. Some outside audio, the new Model O speakers look really, really great as a, as a stereo pair for, for high fidelity audio. We've got a cinema in there using some of the showcase Stein, Steinway kit, um, which is the best in the business. Um, really generates the emotion when you're watching a film and really gets you involved in it. Can't wait to show you. Let's get inside, let's get up in the lift, up to the top floor, sixth floor, and let's go and see what it's all about. We're in the amazing Steinway Lingdorf showroom. Charlie from the UK has invited us down uh, to have a look at some of the products. There's some new bits from Lingdorf. There's some new bits from Steinway. Can't wait to take you upstairs and show you these new marine speakers, which are unbelievable. Um, I'm gonna hand over to Charlie in a minute, and he's just gonna give you a quick overview on the showcase of the new products. Hi, I'm Charlie from Steinway Lindorf, and uh, yeah, invited the guys from Creative Roof down to our lovely Barcelona show. It's at the town. It's out there, but it's like the Oxford Street of, uh, of Barcelona. But yeah, we've got our new Q100 speakers. Uh, these are uh, floor standing design, they come in lots of different finishes, so you get this in black, white and oak, this comes in black and white, um, lots of different, five different colour options on the grills. Uh, but yeah, it's using a, a new drive technology called Purify, um, it's got three of those, so one there, it's like a triangle design tripod, and then our AMT tweeter as well, um, great sounding, super sounding built speaker that you can discreetly put in, running from our TDI and Flake uh, It's an integrated two channel app. It's got all the streaming, but the red. You can rub two subwoofers off it as well, if you need to know we're doing that today. Um, and it's giving you 400 watts per channel, so it's a great amount of power too. So here we are with our Steinway Model O's. So these are a, in full range design. We've got a uh, H in front, and our anti tweeter. So there's a 10 inch driver on the back. Uh, they come in gold and black, white and black, whatever you kind of colour you fancy, we can do custom finishes. Um, but yeah, they're designed to sit right up against the wall. Um, and then from there you get a great bass response. They, uh, they're very sweet sounding, they work very well at low levels, high levels. Uh, they come with your apps and your processing as well as a system. Uh, and yeah, Steinway. We've come up to the roof terrace here at the uh, Barcelona showroom for Steinway Lingdorf to check out what is over my shoulder here? The most amazing outdoor marine speakers you have ever seen. Not only do they look incredible, classy, as you'd expect from Steinway, but the quality on them is absolutely second to none. Charlie's up here again, he's run up the stairs, so excuse him if he's a bit out of breath. Um, he is gonna talk us through the speakers, how they fit together, what sort of processes we need um, to put these in your garden. These are the Steinway and Sons Marine Speaker. They are an outdoor, proof, weatherproof, IP rated uh, outdoor speaker. We went down the route of trying to make it as good as any of our indoor floor standing speakers. So they're designed with almost exactly the same components inside. They've got special case work on which makes them waterproof. They can be mounted top or bottom. So on a lot of the yachts we deal with, they hang them from the, the, uh, the bridge effectively. So you can hang them from the top or the bottom. They come in a range of colors. You can have any color you want if we're being honest. This is the white and gold, which is the most popular. Um, on the front, they have our special AMT tweeter, they have our mid-range, two 10-inch drivers on the front, and then actually on the back of it, the speaker, they've got uh, dual 12 subwoofers. So you don't need any subwoofers with them. They'll play as loud as you want, they'll be as bassy as you want, uh, and they literally are as good as listening to a pair of speakers inside. And they come with our amplifiers and our processors. Our processors do all the streaming, so you can just connect your phone straight to them. Uh, they, it does have room perfect on, although I don't think you'll be doing that in a garden because there is no room. But yeah, they're amazing, amazing outdoor speaker. They really are. So now we're in the cinema. Uh, so this is a Steinway Indoor Cinema. We have our line source speakers behind the screen. So they're behind an acoustically transparent screen here. Um, they, they come in modules. So there's a two meter tall speaker that comes in four different modules. We've got that for left, centre and right. And then on the sides and rear walls, we've got these lovely S15s in a lovely black and gold finish. So you've got those sides and rears. In the ceiling, they have our IC26s for Atmos. So there's four of those. 
And then there's, I think there's six subwoofers in here. So there's three per front corner uh, called the LSBWs. Um, but yeah, it's an awesome sounding cinema with a lot of power in very small room. Uh, it's not exactly the biggest room in the world and it does show you that you can do cinemas in any size room. It doesn't need to be some massive thing with lots of rows. This has got a sofa and then two seats at the back. A lot of cabinetry at the back as well. Guys, how good was that? Just finished in the showroom over at Steinway Lingdorf. You've seen, listen to some amazing kit. That was so much fun. Um, they really, really bring high quality audio, but an amazing amount of passion and technical expertise to the, to the equipment they sell. Behind me is the Fira in Barcelona. What is ISE 2023? Integrated Systems Europe. It's where all the tech companies come together and show us what technology we've got to showcase to you and use in your products in 2023. There are some amazing bits of kit here, big, large format, LED screens, OLED, LG. But we've got a bit of a problem in the market at the moment. When we design our cinemas, we've been a massive fan over the years of Sony projectors, and they've had a great range of home cinema projectors. They've released two new varieties now, both laser, both great in their own right, but the 5000, which is the slightly um, lower one in the range, doesn't have memory zoom or the ability for us to go 235 to 1 and 16.9 in the same cinema, which we love doing. From an experience point of view, to have both options of either 16.9 for sport and cine wide for movies is amazing. We're heading down to Sony to check out, see if there's anything in the range that's going to fill that gap. Um, but for now, currently, it's either a, a, the 7000, which is quite an expensive laser projector. Great if, if the budget is there. But if you haven't got the budget, we're down to the 5000, which means you're stuck with 16.9 you know, ratio images. Now, if the room is correct, that's fine. Um, sometimes a 16.9 ratio screen is all that we can put in a room. But if it's not, um, our challenge in this show is to find something that might bridge that gap as a mid-range projector, good picture, that allows you to have 16.9 and 235 to 1 at the same time in your, in your cinema. So let's head into Sony, check it out. So here we go guys, this is the 5000 and the 7000. Beautiful laser light source over cinema projectors. They're going to give us really bright, high contrast pits and images. 7000, slightly larger form factor than the 5000, uh, with the memory zoom and the motorized lens, an amazing flagship projector. 5000, manual lens, really great projector if it's in the right yeah. application. But what they really need is to bridge the gap in between that 7000 and that 5000. So, what projector for us is going to sit in the middle? to allow us to give you 235 to 1, 169 and not cost the earth. And that's our challenge for today. We found an Epson, a really, really good alternative to a Sony. It's a laser light source projector, and has memory zoom, everything we need, about five grand price point, maybe even a little bit cheaper. Um, so that's gonna be coming up in our offerings too. Uh, really, really cracking bit of kit. Again, great, great reviews. It looks amazing. Um, yeah, excited to be using that. Bit of a fresh idea on some project as well. Without going silly, we're very conscious that prices are going up and up and up in our industry. And we are keen to keep the same ethos that we always have. You should be able to do a really, really good cinema for a decent budget without going absolutely crazy. There is no need. Um, yeah, so we're very pleased to have found good products like that in this show. Really, really good. Just wanted to give you a bit of an overview of what we're doing with our friends at Acoustic. Um, they've got a great booth here. We're going to show you some of the new products later. Um, but we wanted to explain to you what goes into the process of designing a cinema. So when you sign up with us, when you put an inquiry in, what do we do behind the scenes that makes using a specialist and, a, and, a, and an experienced company different to just going somewhere to somewhere like Richard Sounds or, or, or somewhere off the, off the high street? The main thing here is that it's not just putting speakers on walls and it's not just putting them in locations that look good or you think are the right locations. There is a distinct science behind it um, that the guys at Acoustic are very experienced in and we are as well. And we can make sure that your room is designed aesthetically pleasing, but with the right speakers in the right locations to give you a cinema. 
Um, it's so important to get the right bass response, the right speaker location, so that you're actually gonna get a cinema that delivers for you that kind of wow that's slightly different to a TV room. There's no charge for it, it all comes as part of the service, and that's why, that's why we want to explain to you what goes into getting a creative room cinema in conjunction with our friends at Arcoustic. Uh, Paul Cumming, UK sales director, is going to give us a bit of an overview on the design process and what we look at in a room and how we correct awkward rooms. So Paul, we've got a client, uh, they've got a room, we've got the dimensions of the room, we've got a height. Where do we start? Well, that's exactly where to start. The room's the, the most important part. Without knowing the room and knowing the application, knowing where the client's going to be seated, um, we're just guessing. So we want to take all the guesswork out of this so that we, we can predict um, the results within a room way before we end up at the installation stage. No surprises, we don't like surprises on the site at the end. So design, 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 make it start early, as early as we can in terms of dimensions, positions, uh, seating locations, application. So with a cinema, the, the advantage that we have as an industry with cinema is that there are industry rules. There aren't rules in audio for sound of a kitchen, for example. But in a cinema, there are there are industry standards that we can work to, adhere to, and that gives us a predictability and a, um, a confidence to know that if we're designing to the right parameters and hitting the right numbers and the right, the right design criteria, we can guarantee a performance way before we end up at the calibration stage at the end. So on that then, we, we obviously take the dimensions that, that, that you supply for us um, and create acoustic reports and modeling. So we're doing all this in independent software. It's nothing to do with with us or even the industry, it's just independent um, engineering and mathematics um, to create a report which we um, have a um, sort of technical, uh, um, fairly dry audio report here. We also compress it and make it a little bit more exciting with some 3D visuals and um, some, some renders to, to put some uh, context on it really for the, uh, for the room itself. But what that does is it means that we can create something along these lines with heat maps to demonstrate um, the expected uh, SPLs in the seating position with this particular, this is this room here, so we modelled it before we came. Again, it's back to that no surprises. We didn't want to uh, bring all this and travel all the way to Barcelona and then find that it didn't work. So uh, predicted it all beforehand. Um, in this case, the centre channel will play 117 dB. We're not going to play at 117 dB, so what this is, is demonstrating to us and giving us the confidence in is that we've got plenty of headroom to EQ it to make sure that we've got control over the audio. And we do that with, with other channels, obviously, with the subwoofers, um, sub locations. This room in particular, um, in the modeling, the mod in the modeling of the, uh, the subwoofer frequencies, having just one location of subwoofers meant that we had a, a predicted dip at around 50 hertz, which we didn't want obviously have in the ring. So using the software, predict by having echo subwoofers, the front and back in this case, we could eliminate that, that NAM um, and, uh, and, and reduce the, um, the uh, any problems before they, uh, before they occur. And that gives us the ability within the EQ of the systems that we're not fighting against physics, we're working with it. Um, we have got a, a new product in here as well, which we again modeled with the rim treatment, which is um, dealing with first reflections and um, just try to control the acoustics within this space. It is what it is, it is a shell at a, at a show, so the acoustics are not great. Uh, it is quite an equity and live room, but by putting these panels up, which will absorb um, diffusion here and absorption here, it's transformed the room. Even as soon as they went up, it transformed it. And again, at the bottle first, and then felt that it was, uh, it was indeed replicated when we actually installed it. So, when the, when the modelling is then proven at the end result, it kind of gives us all the confidence that these work each few time. So whether it's a, um, a, a, a stand or a show, we're trying to make sure we're not caught out with any weird acoustic surprises, or a full path solution, this is one we've done for a client, which is a low profound lounge and kitchen. It's the same modelling to make sure that when it comes to the installation, um, no surprises from us on the calibration side, the installation side, which ultimately means a very happy end, end result on the client that's uh, getting more than they uh, they hope for. So, um, pressed up. Thanks, Paul. All right, so there you have it, guys. That's everything that goes into us designing a cinema for you. It's more than just putting speakers on the wall, and it's, it's using your budget correctly. The most important thing when you're signing up for a cinema design or anything like that is the we're gonna use the money, that, the hard-earned money that you're gonna spend with us correctly, and we're putting the right speakers in the right place to give you the correct sound. 
and make the most of the room that we're putting it in. So just a little insight there on what we do alongside the team at Arcoustic to deliver you the best possible system for your budget. There is something pretty special up here that I want to show you. Um, an outdoor TV, super high end, um, but the way it works is absolutely incredible. Uh, pops up out of the ground, uh, kind of rotates out of the ground and unfolds itself. It is mind blowing. The joints in the TV itself completely disappear. It's super bright. As I say, really premium, really high end, but absolutely unbelievable. How cool is that? Oh my God. Any poolside place abroad at home is super bright, completely IP66 rated. So totally waterproof. And um, wow, wow, that is something at the show. I've never seen anything like that before. New product designed and I think partly funded in conjunction with Porsche. Really, really cool, love it. Love to specify one of those. Another group of guys we've met at the show are from Cinema Lux. Um, so we do all of our designs in house for our cinema rooms. Um, it's something we're quite proud of, but it's always good to get fresh ideas, some fresh faces and, and new things to do. These guys are proper interior designers. They come from an interior design background. Their product portfolio is amazing. And we're gonna work with them on a few projects. So if, you, um, if you're thinking that you want the interior designers touch and experience above and beyond, beyond what we do as a company, then we can introduce you to Darren and his team. They do some cracking work. They've got some brilliant new cinema seats. And the lovely thing is that they're focused on speed. They understand the industry. They like the turnaround. They'll get a quote out with our quote. We can do it all within a week. Full 3D schematics. And they can produce cinema seats really nice. You know, they, they look more like low slung sofas, but are reclining within four weeks. Um, that's a new prototype product we've seen here. So yeah, excited to be doing some work with uh, Cinema Lux 2 on various things coming up in the future. Check them out, really good guys. The end of ISE 2023. Awards dinner's just finished. As I say, very proud to pick up an award and it's a credit to all our team. Thrilled for them and thanks for their hard work. Uh, we're done now. It's time to uh, go get some food, head back to the apartment and then catch a plane home tomorrow. Carry on, uh, carry on with all the stuff we've got going on. Um, cracking show. Really enjoyed it. Really busy three days. Busier than in the past. Lots of things to see, lots of new products. Uh, it was it was interesting. It was really good. It felt it didn't drag at all like it has done sometimes in Amsterdam. And yeah, hope you've enjoyed. Hope you've enjoyed joining us and watching along. And uh, we'll be bringing you more content soon.